Today, North Korea reported another large jump in illnesses believed to be a COVID-19 as a mass outbreak spreads through its unvaccinated population. State media says North Antivirus headquarters reported more than 260,000 people were found with fevers and six people died. That raises North Korea's deaths to 56 after more than 1.48 million people became ill with fever since late April. North Korea lacks testing supplies to confirm coronavirus infections in large numbers, but the report did not say how many of the fever cases were COVID-19. The outbreak is almost certainly greater than the fever tally, considering the lack of tests and resources to monitor and also treat the people who are sick. North Korea's virus response is mostly isolating people with symptoms at shelters, and as of Tuesday, at least over 660,000 people were in quarantine. Meanwhile, U.S. hospitals are facing a financial crisis that officials say was caused by the federal government's rules for pandemic relief money. COVID-19 outbreak hits U.S. badly and new hospitals are struggling without pandemic aid. They need to run their business to hire medics and so on. Among new hospitals are three hospitals in Alabama, Kansas and New Mexico, which say they are not getting as much assistance for CARES Act as other hospitals because they're so new so they cannot prove financial losses from before the pandemic. The Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act, which is known well as the CARES Act, is a $2.2 trillion US dollars timeless bill to respond to COVID-19 pandemic. Bird flu hatches conspiracy theories amid COVID-19 outbreak, claims that bird flu is a hoax used to drive up food prices, also highlight real-world concerns about inflation and food shortages. The latest global bird flu outbreak is spawning fantastical claims similar to the ones that arose during the COVID-19 pandemic, underscoring how conspiracy theories often emerge at times of uncertainty. The claims can be found on obscure online message boards and major platforms like Twitter. Some versions claim the flu is fake, a hoax being used to justify the reducing the supply of birds in an effort to drive up food prices, either to wreck the global economy or force people into vegetarianism. The reality of the outbreak is far more mundane, if no less devastating to birds and people who depend on them for their livelihood. Still ahead on Asia Prime, King Salman of Saudi Arabia was discharged from hospital. Stay with us.